It's all charges. Those charges are connected with an alleged date rape case. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss was there as a doctor was advised of those charges earlier this morning. Brian now joins us from Denver Criminal Court tonight. Brian? Karen, Dr. Stephen Matthews is a cardiologist who is out on $50,000 bond now, out of jail after uh, being accused of crimes that one expert says are underreported sex crimes. Stephen Matthews is 35 years old and affiliated with several front range hospitals. According to this Denver police affidavit, a woman met up with Matthews after connecting with him on Hinge, a dating app. They had brunch on a Sunday morning in January, then walked to his West Denver townhouse. There, she said, they hung out in his hot tub. Matthews later told police they had consensual sex. But the woman says she remembers none of that, has no recollection of having sex with the doctor, only remembering finding herself hours later at home with paramedics checking her out. I think they can be hard to prove. Casey Ballinger counsels sex assault survivors for the Blue Bench, an organization working to prevent sex assaults. She says date rape cases are underreported, as in many cases, the victims know the perpetrators and are reluctant to come forward. And she says they are difficult cases for prosecutors. A lot of these cases, again, happen behind closed doors, and there may or may not be additional evidence to provide to these folks who are responsible for moving forward with the case in the criminal legal system. Dr. Matthews told police the woman had two mimosas at breakfast, then another at his home, along with two shots of tequila. Ballinger says her behavior should not be an issue. Honestly, none of that matters. Um, any individual, regardless of gender or identity, should be able to wear whatever they want or drink as much as they want with the assurity that they can then get home safely without an another person causing them harm. Prosecutors are not detailing their evidence, but charge the doctor with sexual assault on a helpless victim, sexual assault with no consent, and sexual assault on an incapable victim. Dr. Matthews' lawyer says the government has made a rush to judgment, errors of omission, and failure to fully investigate the case in a statement to CBS News Colorado. The attorney went on to say his client and the woman had consensual sex on their first date. That lifestyle can result in buyer's remorse, jilted lovers, and tall tales, but the attorney said it is not a crime. The woman says she decided to go forward with the criminal case after she learned that a family friend had gone on a date with Dr. Matthews several years ago and said she had a similar experience. State records show no other discipline against Dr. Matthews' medical license. He's due back here in court May 15th. Reporting live, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado.